Gentlemen, if you're defining yourself as a nice guy, you're probably not a nice guy. You're probably a guy who has weak boundaries, is secretly manipulative to try and get something from someone else and is not really speaking their truth. Quit the nice guy act. Be authentic. Be true. Speak your truth. Say what you need. Say what you want. Be straight up with people and drop the nice guy act. People want real, not nice. I love you. You've got this. She's actually right. For me, whenever a person says, oh, I'm a nice person, I'm a nice this, I'm a nice that, to me, that's so disingenuous. Like, why would you feel the need to actually say that? Just be yourself, don't talk about yourself too much and let everyone else uh, make up their own mind about you and just be real and just be yourself. And it is what it is because, you see, women are just so much more socially aware to this type of stuff than men and they smell it on you straight away if you're like a slimy manipulative person they smell it on you they smell it from a mile away of course she doesn't want us hanging out she's insecure i mean i don't blame her <laughs> i got a better idea you should post a picture of us as payback turn your location off i never get to spend alone time with you anymore it's not fair i even got a better idea you should stay at my place and keep your location on and see how mad she gets <laughs> Why are you still talking to her if she literally looks like the off-brand version of me? Like, she literally copies everything I do. You really boosted her ego when you started dating her. Like, now she actually thinks she's pretty. <laughs> it's impressive how confident she is for how bad she actually looks. Like, go off, queen. You kind of made yourself look bad when you started dating her. Just saying. How many times does she need to go out with the girls for you to realize that she's cheating on you? Seriously, check her phone. See what happens. Don't forget the my eyes only. I bet she won't even let you look through it. <laughs> if it were me, I'd let you look through my phone whenever you wanted. Just saying. I'd be embarrassed to walk around with her if I were you. That's just me though. Is it weird that like every guy I match with on Tinder kind of looks like you? Like, I guess I kind of have a preference. I don't know on what planet these scenarios are uh, happening, but usually when this is happening, the girl is not really that attractive and the guy really is attractive and uh, he just doesn't see her. So uh, she's basically in the friend zone, right? And to them is nothing more than a game, which if you want to play it, that's cool. If you want something more serious, avoid these types of uh, people. Because trust me, if she actually likes you, y you are gonna know. She's gonna make sure you know and uh, you still have to make the first move. If she makes the first move, that's just a red flag. It means she, she wants something from you, not necessarily she wants you. When a man doesn't want to change, he will find any woman that is okay with his lifestyle so he doesn't have to grow up. And that's exactly why we find these men fumbling the bag with these high quality women, because you know why? High quality women have standards. They have standards that they will not lower and they have boundaries. Don't ever think that you are too much for someone, okay? Because you're not. You will be enough for the right person. And if this man out there is making you think anything different, he's not the person for you. What that man does need though is a weaker woman and that weaker woman is not you. He needs a woman that he's able to manipulate, control, and one that he can feel superior to. I promise you, don't change for anyone because there's someone out there that's going to love you for all that you are and give you all that you deserve. Um, that's highly questionable, the whole uh, high quality woman, high quality this and that. I've seen so many people just being absolute garbage and then claiming, oh, look at me, I'm such a high quality person. It's, no, you're not, just shut up. Shut up, stop gaslighting. Other than that, uh, just be realistic with your expectations and your standards and uh, whatever it is that uh, you want in life. Just be realistic. Actually be self-aware and notice what's out there. So I've been ghosted by my situationship. Story time. Yeah. So I've been seeing this guy for like the last two and a half months and we talk every single day religiously. The more and more I think about it, the more I'm realizing that it was always me actually sending the DM first. Anyways, moving on. So he needed to leave the country in order to renew his visa because he's not Australian. And I knew this when we first started hanging out, so it's my fault that I caught the field. But we went out on dates all the time, we hung out all the time. It became like a three date per week type of thing. And you know the three date rule, right? Once it becomes more than three dates, you're basically dating. Or maybe I was just in the wrong mindset around that. So anyways, he leaves the country and we talk for the first 24 hours that he's left. And now I haven't heard from him. And he's watching all my stories, so that makes me kind of concerned. And people are like, you're probably, he's just busy, you know, he's trying to do his visa, he's just busy. 
We are all on our phones. I think this whole we're too busy is just a load of BS. Someone help me, am I overthinking it or is this situation ship done? And I really hope he doesn't see this. <laughs> um, yeah, I wish I didn't see this either. What's happening is this guy knew that he was going to leave and not really coming back. So if you're talking to a guy for like two and a half months and you're not really doing anything besides uh, just hanging out, he's not going to be interested, like especially like a guy that has options and has been around the dating scene for a while. If he's not getting anything else besides uh, companionship after two months or whatever, he's just going to be like, yeah, whatever, just move on. And uh, he's going to use you just as a companionship person and that's it. And uh, he's just going to move on with his life. Husbands create an extra seven hours of work for women a week on average. And men wonder why we're scared of marriage. I mean, I'm scared of marriage because of this look and uh, that disgusting nose ring that you have. I will meow for you. I would bark for you. I would oink for you. I would bleat for you. I would honk for you. I would glub glub for you. I would caca caca for you. I would roar for you. I would do anything. Someone just please love me. Please. I actually feel sorry for you. The answer is gonna be no. When you are that desperate, that means that uh, you have been imprinted by a guy that you were in a relationship with, maybe two relationships ago or even more than that. Message for my husband, whoever you are. I'm gonna pull over just in case someone sues me. Ugh. Genuine question for my husband, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. Mm -hmm. Yes. People say, oh, don't look for it, he'll find you. <laughs> Try harder, darling. Like, what are you actually doing? <laughs> what are you actually doing? I'm here, ready to be found. I'm not desperate, I'm not looking for it, I'm focusing on myself. Yes, I'm, like, I'm there, I'm up there with the self-love, I'm healed, I'm done, I've done it. Where are you, Bab? Because I'm here, just existing, waiting for you to find me and like, are the trains delayed? Are your shoelaces too tight? Like, what are you doing? <laughs> He's doing his own thing. Uh, whenever a woman mentions uh, self-healing and uh, I'm better now and all that stuff, that means she just had like a really, really rough past to... You, you know what I mean by that, right? And all this self-love and self-healing and all this bullshit means uh, she's been toxic in the past, she's had toxic relationships with toxic guys because she herself is toxic and uh, she's attracted to that type of toxicity, right? And now, where's the good guy? I'm pretty sure she gets tons of attention on social media because guess what? Most women do get tons of attention on social media. It's just not the attention that she wants. And that's why you see them... Um, just complaining like little girls on TikTok about not finding a right guy like yes you can find one it's just uh you your standards just have to be realistic scroll if you're not single you're very much taken and scroll if you're not loyal and you're toxic okay okay now that that all the single loyal people are here <clears throat> i'm single i'm looking for someone and nobody in my real life is like doing it for me so i'm on the internet <laughs> All I want from someone motivated, supports me because mm -hmm. I'm very supportive mm -hmm. and loves to cuddle. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's all I want. Someone is not toxic and mean and you know, none of that. Thank you. Um, She's actually lying. When, she, when, when a woman does say she wants a motivated guy, that's just a code word for uh, he has a lot of money. So uh, it's not that he's gonna have money, he already has tons of money and all that thing with uh, not toxic and not uh, whatever uh, she's actually attracted to toxicity that's why you hear all these women complaining about toxic relationships and all that stuff yeah you complain about it but guess what you actually found that appealing in a way men bitch men bitch men bitch men bitch men bitch i don't know who hurt these women I'm assuming uh, the relationship with their fathers is not really the best relationship that you can possibly have, but it is what it is.
this is when I realise that I do need a man because I need to move my bed one inch to the right so I can put my new bedroom cabinet in this gap. It won't fit. I can't move my bed. Well, I can, but I have to empty all out and it would take me an hour when it could take a man just five seconds of his time to just push that bed that way, put the bedroom cabinet there and it'll be done. It'll be done. I am trying my hardest to be in a strong, independent woman and I tell you now, it's not working. It is not for me, okay? I need someone with muscles. I need a strong man who will literally just put his mind to anything. So help me, please, before I go and set up a Tinder account with the bio saying, I need a strong man with a van and a toolbox, okay? Help me, please. Uh, you see all these women, when they uh, say they want a guy, they actually just want a helper. They're, they don't want like romance or anything like that. That, that that's just a tie up, that's just a lie to get you hooked and uh, to get you to be like uh, you, you are gonna do anything that she wants from you, anything. And then they handcuffed me and they said anything you say can and will be held against you and I said Jason Momoa. Oh my god look at me, just an average woman dreaming about the top tier men on Hollywood. Wow, so original.